today we are going to be creating a liquor ice candy inside of Maya and there are a lot of different ways how you can do this and we'll see how different ways can help you create this thing faster or anything related to this stuff so let's quickly get into it so the first thing I'm gonna do is let's quickly switch to modeling menu and uh, I'm gonna start by creating a simple object like something like this cylinder all right and uh, I'm gonna go to my attribute let's go to poly cylinder let's reduce the division to somewhere like 10 you can also reduce it to 8 it's totally up to you and I'm gonna turn off the cap completely I don't want any caps and also let's go to face mode select this and delete this all right once you're done with this go to edge mode select all the edges by double clicking on one edge and control E for extrude and bring this outside make sure key faces together is off and just scale it down just a little bit all right so i'm gonna hit f let's zoom in on it and there you go all right i think this looks pretty good the next thing i want to do is go to face mode right click Control e scale this down and simply delete this all right so we have a nice looking object now i'm gonna simply center pivot this and let's delete some history and freeze transform let's scale this down and keep it aside all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly create uh, a curve go to curve tool cv curve tool and just randomly create any curve that you want all right so i have something like this i'm going to go to select tool right click control vertex and let's quickly shape this randomly so we just have something uh different going on and I think this looks good. Uh, walkable. Just gonna bring this up quickly so we just have a bit more pattern between all the vertices. All right. I think this looks quite good. All right. Let's go to object mode. Now, what we're gonna do is select this object and we want to transfer this object onto this curve. The best way to do this is by using our sweep mesh tool. So I'm gonna go to my sweep mesh, click on sweep mesh, and instantly you'll notice that it has created this nice mesh on top of our curve. Now what we want is to clone this on top of this. So select your sweep mesh creator and click on custom. Once you click on custom, you'll have this pop-up menu. Here, make sure you select poly object that because this is what our poly object is. And I'm gonna select poly object and simply select on your object. And now you'll notice that it has given us this object right i'm gonna click on ok and uh, select this now as you can see we have very small amount of subdivision going on so i'm going to increase the subdivision by increasing the precision here and i think this looks quite good it looks pretty smooth and all and i'm not gonna close the cap right now because it will just uh, close everything all right i'm gonna keep it open for now and then you can pretty much use the twist if you want and again uh, you can select your object scale it down you can also uh, scale your sweep directly from the sweep mesh creator by scale profile all right and there you go so this is how you can create uh, a pattern of your own custom object by creating this profile and you'll have a very nice looking candy all right so the other method is i'm going to keep the same cv curve all right that uh, we have here and by simply clicking on sweep mesh you can also go to create and sweep mesh all right so as you can see we get this default uh, looking low resolution mesh so the reason is because the side has been set to 8 we can increase amount of size uh, but i think instead of using the circle we will probably use a star uh, as you can see star gives a, a bit more uh, pointy edges uh, exactly what we are looking for so i'm gonna keep it to somewhere like eight and for the inner radius i think it's a bit too much so i'm gonna probably reduce it to uh or let's increase in this scenario 2.75 i think this looks good we can always go back and change again we can use cap on this or no it's totally up to you and let's decrease the scale profile because since it's a liquorized candy it shouldn't be that uh big right and let's keep it to somewhere like this all right again the subdivision amount is too slow uh sorry too less so i'm gonna change this to precision let's keep it to precision and check on the optimize what optimize does is it's only going to add subdivision to the places where it actually needs for example if i turn this off and increase the subdivision you'll notice it just put edges 
on the whole object but if i click on optimize you'll notice that it's not putting any more edges around here but only uh, near the corners where it actually needs all right so make sure you have optimized turned on all right once you're done with this all you gotta do is simply come in here and increase the amount of twist all right and that's it so i can go for something like a four and there you go so if you hit three on your keyboard you'll have a smooth looking licorice um, candy and again i think uh, for this uh, particular uh, one i'm going to increase the scale a bit and for the shading what i'm going to do is click uh, right click on this object assign new material Arnold stand surface let's call this candy red all right and uh, let's take our ipr on here and i think i do have a light in our scene so i'm going to quickly select my light and uh, let me just uh, turn this on there you go and let's see how this looks all right so there you have it so this is what it looks like all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select this and let's go to candy red and i'm gonna give it a bit of something like this color all right and uh, it should have a lot of reflections so i'm gonna give it a roughness value of 0.1 but at the same time what i'm gonna also gonna do is add a bit of a coat in here and keep the roughness value to somewhere like two just so it has uh, a bit of more reflectivity i'm gonna get rid of this hdr completely so we can add some manual lights in the scene okay so let's quickly add our own light i'm gonna take an area light bring this up scale this down quickly all right and let's make sure it is set to negative 90 and let's increase the exposure to something like eight and right, there you go and yeah so with the roughness here i think i'm going to go for something like 0.15 and uh, i think this looks quite good uh, i'm liking the overall look here but we have to add some kind of imperfection to the candy just so the amount of roughness that it has is not uniform so what i'm going to do is quickly go to hypersheet and with our candy let's go to graph editor and i'm going to switch this to arnold and uh, let's quickly take a noise all right we have our ai noise here and increase the octave and i'm also going to change the amplitude to maybe like two let's hit tab color correct and input and uh, open this up and the red channel to the specular roughness now you'll have uh, this weird looking imperfections so i'm gonna quickly update the whole render scene All right so let's uh, zoom in quickly i don't see much details happening here so i'm gonna quickly go to my noise here and i'm gonna increase the size of this let's increase the amplitude a bit and now i think we are uh seeing some of those uh imperfection here so again i can go here and reduce the amount of white value just so it doesn't take over the entire thing all right it looks pretty good so i'm gonna do one more thing i'm gonna quickly take the red channel here and attach the same thing to the coat roughness and you should probably take a different uh, noise for that but i'm just gonna use the same one all right so now you'll notice that we have uh different some kind of perfection going on but the imperfection is a bit too strong if i completely make this black you'll notice there are no imperfection because uh, you don't have any roughness control over it uh, so we are using our noise uh color one and color two to pretty much anything i'm gonna make just noise a little harsh so that you can simply use our color correct node to increase the gamma and contrast i'm gonna reduce the amount of amplitude we have in here notice that how strong the attitude here is if i go a little lower and then i bring this down notice that we have a subtle amount of uh, roughness going on so i think that will give just a bit more uh good looking roughness comparatively to creating a harsher roughness all right so that's it now if you are done with your uh licorice candy and you think this is uh, what my final is i don't want to change this because if you notice uh your pretty much sweep is still connected to the curve 
So what you can do is uh, select your sweep mesh, go to poly modeling and simply delete the history. All right. And you can also go to edit, delete by type and history. And then you can simply take your uh, CV curve and delete it. From there, if you want, you can uh, go to edges, select uh, the whole edge and go to mesh and fill hole. I do the same with this. Go here and mesh and fill hole. You'll notice that uh, they instantly go smooth because they don't have any supporting edges. So what you can do is if you want to create a bit of a hole in there, you can do like this and maybe add a something like this. And from there, what you can also do is just bevel these edges out to maybe like fraction of maybe 0.2. Oh, sorry, 0.2. And we'll give a segment of maybe three. All right, so that way uh, you'll have something that looks like this. All right. So yeah, do the same thing uh, with this one and you'll have a nice looking candy. All right, let's select, uh, I can't select my light, yeah. All right, so yeah, there you go. So this is how you can create a liquorice candy. You can create multiple variations of it. And then uh, as I did for the uh, thumbnail, you can drop it onto a glass or something to create a very nice artwork. All right, so that's it for this one. It was pretty simple and easy to do. Uh, but uh, as I said, it opens up a lot of methods for the other stuff as well. You can create your own custom uh, looking patterns and then simply sweep mesh it onto a curve and pretty much create anything you want. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.